So basically I ordered the tie-dye kit many moons ago um, but I think that because I'm in Montreal um, it took forever to get here. Anyway, I got here last week but I decided that I was going to start my tie-dye adventures with just bleach and I took some of my Estes teas and I said I'm going to see if I can like, I don't know, make them look funky and I did and they are so cool. Okay, this is my first one. I'm going to do a try-on session for you guys with the tops that I did. I actually did it with two tea dresses as well. I tried it on the Tammy dress. Didn't work because it's a different fabric and it doesn't take. But the cotton dresses, oh my god, you guys are going to love this. And I'm going to show you today how I did it because I'm now loving it so much I'm going to do more of them. So stick with me today and I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm going to show you guys how I made them and it's going to be a fun day. So this is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Sienna skirt, which is a high-waisted pull-on, no buttons, no pockets, no slits, no nothing. Just a whole lot of goodness going on. Um, it's really stretchy, it's really comfortable, it does me a whole lot of favors. And I'm wearing that with my Estes tee, my loose tee. Um, this is the fuchsia one. I tie-dyed it with bleach and I'm loving it. I mean, I loved it before. And now I'm going to have to order myself a new, fleece, a new fuchsia one because, hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really easy to do. Um, I did it in a whole bunch of colors. I'm going to actually show you the other colors that I did uh, in a couple of minutes. I'm going to switch up my skirt, switch up the outfit, and take you guys on a try-on session. Here we go. Next outfit is same top, the Estes Loose Tee. Uh, tie-dyed obviously um, with the Brooklyn skirt same as before except this one is not a high-waisted no pockets no zippers no slits also very stretchy um, the loose tee <laughs> can you guys see I mean this gorgeousness hang on look at that see this whole cool stuff so easy to do I mean really you buy a loose tee and you switch it up um, um I, like i said before i'm going to show you guys how i did it um okay next outfit same outfit different colors so this one is the loose tee um if you see i did like splotches of bleach um so it's like a different sort of tie-dye it's not tie-dye it's bleach dye <laughs> if there's such a thing um <clears throat> the skirt is the same as before the brooklyn and yellow not many left in this color in this in the sizes so check it out if you want it grab it um yeah you can get the same top and make it look a million different ways by just tie-dyeing it so for all the people who told me so many times oh my god we need the loose tee in a million colors here's an option <laughs> coming back with a different outfit here we go see this same outfit different color <laughs> loose tee um this is the charcoal one with the bleach it turned sort of like a pink situation wearing it with the pink brooklyn skirt change it up as you wish um this is amazing i'm so excited because i have to now order a bunch more so that i can do more designs um i have one more outfit to show you and i'll be back Okay, last but not least is the Estes tea dress. Okay, this dress is like amazing to begin with. Um, you know, it's like, I always talk about this, right? It's comfy, it's cotton, it's not clingy, it's amazing. Um, comes in a bunch of colors, extra small, two, three X. Okay, you guys know all this, but look what you could do with this. I mean, this is crazy. You can buy it in a bunch of colors and then do this. <laughs> Hello, I mean, this is like an affordable, gorgeous, stunning tie-dye dress. And it doesn't cost much to make it because it's bleach. I mean, hello. Yeah. Okay. Swipe up. Go buy it. Do your tie-dye stuff. Send me pictures. I'm dying to see what you guys are going to do with this. Okay. And when I did all this fun stuff, ta-da, this lady was there. Okay. You want to tell them what happened? So I was wearing my jean skirt and I was holding the bottle of bleach and some of it spilled. So we just bleached the whole thing. Right. <laughs> And here it is. It's actually a really cool jean skirt from Kitty Chic. And this is not sponsored. Um, but it's a really cool skirt. And I wanted... It was actually... What color was it? It was like a khaki. Like, yeah. So, so now it's summery. Right. <laughs> so there you have it. Okay. So I'm outside. I'm going to do a tie-dye session with you guys. So you know how I did it. Um, I First thing is very important that I have to tell you is you must wear a top or skirt or dress or whatever that you 
don't care to ruin because it might get ruined. Um, and then you can just tie dye it. <laughs> but anyways, okay, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to turn the camera around, show you guys what you need and how to do it. And it's so easy and so fun. And here we go. Okay, so you're going to need bleach in a squeezy bottle and a bunch of rubber bands. I bought a whole pack of them um, at the dollar store, so it's pretty simple. Your top. So I'm going to be doing a shell because uh, Esty wants me to do this for her. It's actually mine and she wants to crop it and I don't know, cut it and have a very, very loose, fun, funky top. So we'll do that. And then you need a bunch of bags, just regular whatever bags. You could even do like freezer bag, Ziploc bag, whatever and gloves very very important okay so are we recording yes we are okay you're also going to need a um stick of some kind so i'm using a rolling pin um okay so you're going to start by putting this in the center of wherever it is that you want the um point to be like the circle point to be so i'm going to do it right over here because i know she's going to cut the shirt somewhere here so it should be like somewhere in the center so you're just going to Turn it like this and keep turning and keep turning it and you're gonna see this like twisty design happening it's just gonna sort of like make its own shape just like that and you can fix it up so I like to fix it up so that it's nice and neat so that the design is sort of like organized I'm a little bit OCD as you can tell <laughs> okay whatever and you just keep on twisting, keep on twisting until the entire top or dress is completely twisted, right? I'm helping it out a little bit only because I like to have it like really perfectly twisted, just like that. Okay. There we go. So now you've got this funny looking um, twisted top, right? Now I noticed that when there's this little hole in the middle over here, right? Like that. If I put a little bit of tie, uh, a little bit of bleach in there, it actually makes it look really cool. So I'm gonna start with that. Just add some in there. Just like that doesn't have to be perfect because obviously you know tie-dye is not perfect okay so now this is tricky because SD is not here right now but you need to get this elastic all the way around hang on just a sec okay hang on I think I got it yes No, I did not get it. Okay, I'm gonna put another one over here. The elastics just sort of keep it in tow, in check. Put this back in, like that. Okay, then we're gonna put the elastics around this way. Just like that. There's one. You can put as many as you want. It'll look like a pie. Like that. It's already starting to change color. I don't know if you can tell, but okay. So the best way to do this is, do you see how there's different slices almost? You put in this slice and then you skip this one and you put it in this slice and then you skip this one.
Okay, and then do the same on the other side. My elastics got a little bit messed up, which doesn't really matter because, again, it's tie-dye. It's a messy situation. As long as you get it on some areas and not in others, you're going to get that effect. Okay, now there's a whole lot of bleach here at the bottom, so I'm just going to clean the bleach up with this shirt because why not? <laughs> Just soak it all up. Okay, that's pretty simple. Now we're gonna take a bag. Uh, I think I just lost my rubber bands, but we'll survive. Now I know that with tie-dye, like the like color tie-dye, you need to put it in the bag and let it sit for 24 hours and then wash it. But with bleach, you don't need to do that. Um, so you're just gonna do that, put it aside, let it sit, and then start the next top. Or dress, or whatever you're gonna make. Okay. Okay, so um, we took the um, tops out of the bags, um, took the elastics out, and then washed it in a regular cycle in the machine, and then dried it, and here's the final product. Check this out. How cool is that? And it's got it on the arms. This is just a regular shell um, that my daughter is gonna crop. And then we did it with purple too. Check this out. How cool. I'm obsessed. I might be tie-dyeing everything in my closet. <laughs>